Hello, it's, it's your boy Ethereal again, and this time this will be a short guide video on how to use voice meter banana and how to integrate, integrate it with Streamlabs OBS. So there are, I'm aware there are other voice meter software such as voice meter banana and voice meter potatoes, but this video will cover only on voice meter banana. So of course I'll leave the website, the link to the website and the downloads down below in the description. So this will be the links. You can either download the zip package or you can download the exe file. You can obviously click download and you know click save. I already have the file, so let me go look for that very quickly. And of course, if you open the setup, if you open the setup, you can just leave it there. I already have voice meter banana installed, so I won't go through the installation process for that. And let me go find it again because I think I messed it up a bit. And this is how voice meter banana looks like. So I can't really expand it. So this is how you if you fully installed voice meter banana, let me go find the location very quickly. So you control search, use your windows feature if you don't have it, or you can just open the file location and you should see something like this. So these are all the different tools that comes with the voice meter banana. Don't open regular voice meter because this is just a very simplified version of the original voice meter. So open voice meter banana and you will actually get this. And if essentially what voice meter banana is, it's an audio interface, a virtual audio interface that bypasses your Windows audio interface or your Windows sound card. So just imagine a program that is handling sound on behalf of Windows rather than letting Windows do it yourself. And if you have voice meter banana installed correctly, you should be seeing your layout like this. If your layout does not look like this, like this happened to me before, I recommend you to uninstall voice meter banana and reinstall the thing again until you can get it to look like this. And if you have it open, it's already set to auto start. So if you open your look at the system taskbar or system tray notification, you can see that if I click here, it should lead to this. So very, very basics for voice meter banana is that you see how there's A1, A2, and A3. This is in reference to the AB state of things. If you don't know what AB state is, you can look it up on Google. Basically, these are the three different inputs for your, your hardware outputs for your audio. So in this case, I'm selecting this, so it's routing out to my speakers right now. And if you want to add a second one, you can add a few more, but generally, you want to start off setting A1 as WDM as whatever speakers that you are doing. Try to use ADM, WDM for this. These are my FL Studio and my Yamaha Steinberg actual audio interface that I have in front of me right now. And as you can see here, this is for hard hardware output, like a physical thing. And this is for your hardware input. In my case, what I can actually do is I can select this and I can select my audio device. And, and the moment I selected this, you can see it right now. Uh, you can see the level for how it's actually receiving my input. This is generally for mics or anything else. And you can mess around. This fader gain is essentially something similar to like your volume knob, except you can kind of limit how loud you want to be. If it's green, it's good. If it's gray, it's too soft. And if it ever exceeds red, red that means you're too loud. And you can, of course, right-click to just change the how much the fader is supposed to be. But generally, I don't use this for Streamlabs. So we're going to turn this off by remove the device selection. So you might be wondering what all these numbers are, right? So this is essentially, you can decide whether the audio comes out. So right now, my speakers is on A1. So what I can do is I can click the microphone and I can click this knob, A1, and it will send my anything that my microphone receives into my speakers so I can hear myself again. But I won't do that because there's going to be a lot of feedback because I'm actually on speakers right now. And so what does this mean for this side, right? So for this is all the virtual inputs. You have two different inputs. Let me go find my thing. If you open your sound systems, there's a shortcut. You can see that instead of having only this, you also have voice meter aux input and voice meter input regularly. And you also have the same thing for microphone. So what you want to do, once you get it installed, you can click this, open this setting up, and 
select this as select voice meter input as default. I personally have a shortcut, so there are actually two ways to access this. You can click control panel, and of course you can look up like you can click this for th this button here. This is what you will see. What you can do is you can click hardware and sound, and you can go to click sound. And this should show up, and you can set this as default, or you can open your settings right now. Um, sorry, the thing is, and my freaking thing is a bit cropped out a bit. Then you can go to, I believe, system, go to sound, and you can also set your default from here. Okay, so now that that's done. So basically, what does the A1 and B, A, B state mean? Essentially, A, anything that's labeled A is referred to your hardware output. So basically, your speakers, your headphones, and whatever it is, and your B is basically like the virtual input that should come out. Like, it's not, there's no physical thing for this. So you can select whether like this thing, voice meter VAIO, the, the very regular voice meter, which is, let me open that real quick. So this thing is actually voice me this this first voice meter. So I set I set it so that it sends to my hardware speakers and B1. B1 and B2 is the a virtual output sound. So it's basically so that you can manipulate it in your stream. And this is the voice meter aux input. These buttons, what do they mean? They essentially mean if I click this, right? That means the thing that comes in here, or the thing that is for this thing, will be sent to this group or this channel of things. It's a bit hard to explain, but we'll, we'll get to that later. And of course, you can see the levels over here. Right now, I have nothing playing, so that's perfectly fine. So now, if you need further records, it's hard for me to explain for this case, but let's just go to Streamlabs for now. So Streamlabs, you, once you set up your audio meter, your voice meter banana, you want to go to audio, and then you want to disable your desktop audio device one and two, and you will see three different mic slash auxiliary device slots. You choose you choose your first one to be anyhow of it. First one to be voice meter input, second one to be voice meter aux, and if you ever so want it, you can either use your microphone, you can send your microphone to voice meter banana, or you can just use this like I did. And you can see over here that the, okay, that thing's on. You can see that over here, we have three different audio inputs. So what people do or what streamers like, uh, like how, what I did it is essentially we can send what you can choose to send what outputs come out here. So this is my microphone and I set voice meter aux output as my, uh, to receive audio from my Google Chrome. And then voice, the regular voice meter will be receiving everything else. So how do you do that? So there is this app called the audio, the ear trumpet. So what you can do is um, you can go to Microsoft Store, I believe, or Windows Store. Let me look this up very, very quickly. And you can go Windows Store right now. And then what you can do essentially is you can go search for ear trumpet enter and it's a bit laggy and then you can get this you can use it through microsoft store or you can probably find it online i don't really know and i've already have it installed so once you install the product you can open a product and essentially what it does is you see bottom right how i have two um, icons right so what that is this is the very system sound and this is audio trumpet what this essentially allows you to do is manually control the volume of each of your applications, which makes it very, very convenient. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your Windows settings again, open system, and I believe under sound, and you click, I believe, advanced sound options, app volume device preferences. And what this is, is you can also choose your default input and default output for your system. And with uh, audio trumpet, or this is before ear trumpet. This is your very basic Windows 10 stuff. So essentially, you can choose where your applications will send the audio to. So you realize that everything else is default, and my default one is the regular voice meter, not the auxiliary one. But for only for my Google Chrome, I send it to the auxiliary part of things. So that means that allows me to 
So every time I play anything on Google, you will see this bar play up something very, very quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some music in the side. Because I set it so that the radio will not receive, because I set it so that Streamlab OBS will not receive anything, I'm going to play a random video from Linus. You guys won't be able to hear this. I can. But you can kind of imagine the Linus talking in the background. And that's how that goes. So, um, let me think of what else is there to do. So you can set it to send there from the setting, from the system sound setting. And then you can use ear trumpet to manipulate, to manually change the amount of volume. Though I find that most of the time it doesn't really matter. Mm. So that's how that is. But another thing that you should remember that I think a lot of people don't mention is how audio audio routing works in Streamlabs, just without voice meter banana. So if you click this knob, the advanced audio settings, you can see that it shows all my different audio sources, include my chat box, my follower goal, my alert box, my microphone, and the two voice meter stuff. So whenever you open the audio advanced audio setting from here, you can kind of see that I can manually, you can manually control and mute the volume for each of them. And you see that there is the stream tracks number thing. I believe they have updated the current settings. So essentially, you have about audio tracks 1 to 6. I'll actually edit it in the video. But essentially, you can, you can imagine that whatever that comes out, let's say from my microphone right now, microphone is sending to stream track one and two it's basically that that's like two different routes or two different speakers that is receiving my microphone right now and if you guys want to play let's say some copyrighted music or some some sort of music but you don't want it to be recorded in your video and you don't want it to be recorded on your stream your twitch vault what you do is you click settings you go to i believe output and under the streaming section, the audio track, you can select which audio track they can record. I can't click it right now because I'm currently recording, but you can, you basically have audio track one of six. So while you're streaming, the audio that your, your, the audio that it's being sent right now goes to audio track one. And you can take this check mark called Twitch Vault. I was, I was actually wondering how I couldn't really do this back then because no one made a specific guide, but here I am teaching you guys. So you can click this check mark it'll be unchecked at first a twitch vault where you can set which track the twitch vault will record and of course these are all the different settings and then you can also do that aside from your twitch vault you can also do the same thing for recording so you can designate which audio track your recorded video receives yeah this one i'm sending it on too so if you can see it right now this is my main output for all my audio it's sending to both the twitch vault uh, the stream, the the stream, the Twitch, and channel one and channel two. Channel one is all I designated as something on stream, while anything sent to channel two is something that goes in the Twitch vault and the recorded video. And as you can see, my voice meter aux output only sends audio for, to my stream, but it doesn't send audio right now to my recorded videos and my Twitch vault. So that way you can get away with your streams and playing whatever music that you want and hopefully not get demonetized or not get copyright strikes. Um, other than that, I think that's really it. Uh, I, I guess I'll just go through a short explanation for the one thing I didn't explain for my previous video is that when you have all these um, audio sources, right, in your mixer right now, so let's say your microphone, right? You realize that if I don't say anything, it doesn't pick up on any background noise. Because the bar is currently empty. So just basic guide for audio is that if it's green, that means it's on a good level. If it reaches orange or yellow, that means you are peaking a little bit. You're a little bit loud, but not too loud. And if you reach red, that's too loud. So generally, you want to move this knob so that you can limit how, mu how much audio each source is sending out and you can you can of course manually mute the audio like this like i was not saying anything just now but you you get the point and at each of these audio source you can click the cogwheel 
and you can click um, filters click edit filters and you can see right now that my I'm currently using a limiter essentially the threshold is in decibels basically no matter how loud I am my bar over here will never exceed negative five decibels worth of sound so I will never be too loud I can even change it to make it even lower and lower and I can make myself super soft and back to super normal I can manually just put the value here the release is basically just saying that how long should this limiter turn on before how long does it take for the limiter to turn off so if you increase it then the the thing will the filter will turn on very will limit your volume by a lot over a very long time or you can just put it very very short and the most helpful one is noise suppression you can essentially click this plus minus button to remove or add filters you can add filters you can choose between gain noise suppression noise gate etc etc you can figure the rest out in the guide somewhere so if you choose noise suppression you'll get this and you can choose two different settings one is a less resource intensive setting but it's a low quality noise suppression one is a higher quality so if you ever wonder how you want to get rid you want to prevent your microphone from picking up your mouse clicks or the random noise in the background or your keyboard mechanical keyboard sounds you can just activate the filter you can also do the same for all the different for all the different sources you can like limit how much how much louder can they get and yeah uh this is a 16 minute video that's pretty freaking long uh, you can skip i will provide timestamps in down in the description so hopefully that will help you guys and that's my guide with voice meter banana so yeah um tldr install the thing and make sure this is out set your one of your voice meter as default output then open your settings go to settings sound system and then at volume device preferences you can set each application to send to which device and then from here set a few things on Streamlabs decide where you want to play your streaming copyrighted music and yeah you can probably look for a few guides here and there I'm sorry I can't really explain it too long because I don't want a video to go to like 20 minutes or something so yeah you can mess around a little bit figure out how things work and I think it should be fine I hope this tutorial is helpful for any Streamlabs OBS users out there who want to stream with um but they want to play their own copyrighted music without really getting strike in the vaults or getting having it recorded and i hope this was this has been helpful and it's your boy theo signing off